What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Assassination Classroom. Today we're doing episodes 19 and 20. First one is called Pandemonium Time. That's usually not a term you want to hear describing your vacation with your fellow classmates, Pandemonium. Um, but I was super happy and excited about us going on this vacation up until everyone literally is on the verge of death and we have to stop this. I don't know this fucking mafioso boss man who's holding everyone hostage you guys know the whole deal we got karasuma and a very few select squad a very few select students uh nagisa kayano and a couple others we're gonna stop this i'm excited hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts in that comment section down below don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on that dapper channel don't forget to check out that patreon early access and the full uncut versions of these episodes up to one week ahead uh, let's hop right on into it. Assassination Classroom, episode 19, pandemonium time. Let's do it. Before he can even tell them not to, they're already... Let's go. Especially compared to our usual training. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm a little shocked they're just going for it. Don't get me wrong. I respect what they're doing. I love this so much. 15 member special forces unit but this is so dangerous climbing a cliff you know can't forget about ritsu come on commander in charge karasuma leading the squad you know what i can't lie i would follow him in a battle he seems like a militaristic dude <laughs> Still dealing with our sick and wounded, Jesus. Do I have Okano's name down? I don't. So Okano's the climber. <laughs> hey, Arena, if you need help climbing, I'll cl you can climb on my back. That's funny. Oh yeah, that takes exceptional balance. That, actually, it's a good point. I would just be nervous about one of, oh, that'll cut your hand. You're not gonna be able to grip it. You will slip and fall and die. That's a good question. Ritsu has just like an AI to help us out and be there with us no matter where she is is so handy. I love the song when they play it too. This is where Arena shines, huh? She can have them all distracted. She can, she'll never be questioned about why she's here. This, see, we don't have the, the typical blessings you do we'll say arena look at her go on girl get it queen <laughs> be my guest <laughs> Critique me carefully. She is a uh, master of her craft, we'll say. Shouts out to Arena. 100%. All my eyes cannot leave her. So. <laughs> She's going to have a whole audience. I'll buy you 20 minutes. Shouts out to Arena. Oh, I have my issues with her. She's annoying all the time, but God, do I love her. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Damn, she is a top honeypot for sure. <laughs> that makes more sense, yeah. Yup. Yeah, act like you're an elite. Oh, they were able to turn that on very quick. <laughs> I see. That would make sense. I do like how not only Nagisa, Kayano, or uh, Oku, uh, Okuda, but a lot of different students are questioning what's going on, being super observant. I love how they just are naturally picking up things over the season, you know, just being better assassins, being sneakier, all that shit. Smarter. The gas immediately. I don't know why that got so loud, but this just got super loud. 
Helmet head. Ah, see, I'm, they're so observant. They're so observant. I love that. He's like, <laughs> light Yagami, doing some L shit, walking back and forth with a finger like that. Ah. <laughs> gotcha. Got you with reason and logic. <laughs> Shouts out to her shonen experience. October 23rd, we're getting Hunter Hunter back. Shonen Jump, baby. Weekly chapters, I'm ready. What is that supposed to be a reference to? Because I know this show references a lot of the things, and you guys always get mad at me when I don't get what this what this show references to. But you guys got to realize, there's so many animes I haven't seen out there. I have not a clue what this is referencing. But tell me, because they're talking about Shonen and Shonen Jump, obviously, and serialized manga, but come on. Product placement. Karasuma did get hit with that gas. What is it, like nerve gas? Like you're getting any, like you're getting out of here, buddy. Oh yeah, when it comes to dealing with a single target, we know exactly how to deal with it. Oh, we love it. Yeah, talk about being a statue, huh? This man's still moving. Not today. That was the last bit of strength he had, just kicking him straight to the cheek. Like that was a that was a mean kick. This is just Coral, though. <laughs> Imagine that's the way you get tortured. You get shoved in Terasaka's ass. <laughs> what? Assassination vacation, and they can beat it. I agree. That's hilarious. Oh, that's an amazing looking ramen. Minced garlic, green onions. Okay, you ruined it. Okay. So he just eats with his guns? That's so weird. There are weird people like this in real life, which is weird. <laughs> You're a weird one, all right. Smog, as of course. So we got Smog, Grip, and what's this guy's name? Fucking Gun. Even as assassins go, that one's an odd duck. And he's going to be the next one we come across. How are we going to deal with him? He looks like goddamn Silva Zoldic from fucking Hunter Hunter. Somewhat. Way less buff. I'm right there with you. You're li he wants like real deal targets. <laughs> I do like your voice actor. I don't know if it makes you sound like a samurai though. Mm. Oh, that's why he has like blonde hair. He's not Japanese. So that's why his name is Grip. That's true. He's the neck snapper. Okay, the mountain from Game of Thrones. Chill out. Arma with no hesitation. God damn. I mean, he's not wrong. There's no refinement there. 
Oof, now he's just roasting him. Karma versus Grip, solo dolo? He does always have his chin in the air. And now he's looking on him as an equal. Wow. Look at the subtle nods. Yeah, that was the biggest humbling he's ever had. Shouts out Karma. Shouts out Koro. This is where this episode's gonna end. Okay, hopefully we finish this little arc next episode. I'm kinda excited. Alright, on to the next episode, episode 20, Karma Time. Here we go. I love Ooh, I love the set that we're fighting at too. Like this this lit uh windowed hallway. It's so dope looking. We're just like natural light going through. Oh my like, what's going on? Like look at that. Ooh, ooh! They're throwing hands! You gotta avoid that grip at all cost. Okay. That's true. That's a very valid point. Mm, he's just pick he's just a natural talent, Karma is picking He's just picking up things just by watching it, not even specifically being taught. Head and shoulders above the rest. Barehanded like you, fair and square. What are you, Muhammad Ali? Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee? What footwork you think you got? Chill out there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They throwing paws. You talking about hijinks and fucking karma being a bitch? Look at you, Grip. You use smogs. That's okay. Yeah. And he used it again right on him. Wait, how is karma not paral paralyzed? I almost said paralyzed. <laughs> we were both thinking the same thing, so he covered his, his mouth and his nose right before he got hit. How did you get that? Sure, yeah. Bullshit, yeah. So you're gonna be some bullshit, we're gonna dogpile you and tape you up. Oh my god, the way they taped him with your legs like that. Oh, that would be so uncomfortable. Is that when he kicked his leg, he felt it in his pocket? Uh, so if anyone's gonna understand that, it's gonna be Karma. Hell yeah. It's how empathy is born. And then it's how it leads to not underestimating them. Yeah. That has some great personal improvements, not only for your person, your morality, your mentality, but just like as a fighter, you know? He always looked down on people, so he never considered, you know, but now he looks at them, you know, it's different. I like that. I like the way they just explain that a lot. Oh, he's gonna torture the shit out of you. Is that hot mustard and wasabi? Yeah, GG's to your nose, my boy. That might be the worst torture I've ever heard of. This is like some overlord. This is like overlord levels of torture. This is like the Nazarick. Like, karma, relax. Okay, shouts out to the ladies. Yeah. Girl, it's, it's it's crazy, but you look at Arena, who's the master of that specific skill, but girls can really fit in anywhere. Like, there's nowhere where anyone's going to be questioning a girl, you know? Oh, they're going to have Nagisa. I knew this. This is the one thing I knew about Assassination Classroom going into it, that everyone confuses Nagisa as a girl. So that is so funny. It's like Armin in Attack on Titan. Ooh, damn. It's also like Kurapika and Hunter x Hunter. Everyone thought Kurapika was a girl. Not in the show, but outside. So I'm assuming this snobby rich kid is either going to be in our way or he's going to be of assistance to us. Oh, 
I was like, who are they pulling over here like this? This is how they dressed up Nagisa. Oh, he's gonna like, no. oh my God, this is so fucked up. This is quite the predicament we're in. Nagisa does not want to be here. <laughs> this is how actual girls are when you try to talk to one of their friends at the club. Actually, okay, they're letting him go. I feel so bad for Nagisa, them putting him in this situation. You. Yeah, we'll send two of our gals with you. Yada. What is that, like a... A yak? I knew, I thought it was going to be like a Yakuza pin. I don't know where she got an actual Yakuza pin, but that's smart as shit. Clearly it was on loan. What does that mean? If I'm ever flirting with a girl ever and I find out she's a part of a high syndicate's daughter, I'm like, no, no types. That was a good plan. He has a lot of self-conscious issues, you know? Yeah, I because they're in middle school, not even in high school. <laughs> and he's smoking cigs. I get where he's coming from, being in the shadow of his dad. Yeah, I get that. And I get this dude's frustration completely. But you'll realize once you get older, you really don't need to do all that. The one thing Kayano hates, big boobs. I gotta show her how swaggy I am. I'm so swaggy. Are they playing the opening while this dude is a straight gig? <laughs> Buddy, you're bombing. And then, oh, that's embarrassing. They said they would like to not have to force their way out if they didn't need to, but holy shit. Hinata just straight up one kick that dude in the chin. That's the best way to knock someone out though, glass chin. This dude was insanely drunk. I don't know why his jaw is broken, but he was drinking so much he just knocked out right here. <laughs> I can relate, buddy. I got a wiener. This is so funny. Anything but drugs and dancing. If you can help it. That dude needs to stick away from drugs and dancing. Oh, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> gave up the the, the cigs or i i guess that's kush i don't even know well that's just, okay i just assume there are cigarettes you can't buy like prepackaged joints back in the day you can now but like that's not like but shouts out nagisa helping that dude out with his uh insecurities in every show anime or movie where there's someone on a vip level of a hotel there's always guys with glasses just looking stoic like that is that what's gonna happen? Y'all gonna have to beat him up? What does he got? Like a metal baseball bat? Just what? Egg him on? Push their buttons? Oh, we got some tasers! Alright, stun gun. A stun gun to your neck is completely knocking you out. Uh, I'm glad he spent his money he got from that betrayal on helping the class and, you know, making it better. Shouts out to Terasaka. Yeah, we're talking about bulges. We're either talking about guns or wieners. And I know we ain't talking about wieners. Oh, because they're the snipers. Don't use them unless we have to. But... True. Even though they've shot... Everyone in this class has shot multiple times with the fake guns. It would be super nerve-wracking using an actual gun. No killing. Oh, 
Yeah, it's deranged, bro, I swear. He doesn't know the kids are already there hiding. He's just walking around eating his fucking gun. At least he can scan the entirety of the room by looking one direction. Just... That was the end? I wanted to... Ah. Oh, damn it. All right. Continuing our getting rid of the bad guys, helping our virus infected classmates arc. I don't know what it's called. Maybe the uh, summer assassination vacation. That's what Coral called it. But uh, thoroughly enjoying this, how we have have to keep going past our guys and going up and how we have many a situation in which the kids can have their moment in time to shine, show some improvement, show how they've gotten better. Um, we started off with Smog and Karasuma just fucking going ham, being the mate, but now he's kind of out of commission. So they move over to grip and grip was fully dealt by karma who i really enjoyed that and how just the mentality of him and how he's changed now he doesn't underestimate anyone now he looks at everyone as equals he empathizes with them knowing that they've worked hard to be in this equal playing field as he is as well so it's like so it's a whole mental change and i i appreciate that we got not only that but we got that because he didn't do as as good as he thought he could during the finals so i love i love the character arc we've had for karma so far I love the girls, Nagisa included, getting to show their uh, skills off during the club scene. I love how Nagisa was able to help Yuji a little bit with, you know, realizing you don't need to be all cool. It is hard being us guys out there, but the girls, you know, it's like there's more to life, bigger things we got to worry about. Like you don't got to show that your swag levels all the time, my boy. Stay away from drugs and dancing. At least Yuji. Me, you know, well, I can dance and do drugs just fine. I'm, I'm a kind of guy. But, uh... <laughs> Hilarious episodes. Hilarious, but also crazy. This is like the most intense, most dark, even though it's not really that dark, that we've seen this show, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Still having super funny moments, still having great times. Karma with his torture. That might be the darkest thing of the show yet. Imagine just uh, being ball gagged while wasabi and hot shit is shoved in your nose. Oh my God, that sounds horrible. I'm excited to finish out the season. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for early access and full length uncuts, all that jazz. Other than that, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.